Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, we're having a really interesting conversation on Instagram, and I want to bring it to YouTube, okay? So, like I've been telling y'all for years now about the celebrity takeover of YouTube, I told you guys a few months ago that with all this infighting, these stupid-ass drama channels, going at beauty gurus and stuff making national news, creator-on-creator creator harassment and all that other stuff, I told you guys in a minute these celebrities will be replacing these beauty gurus, and everything I've been saying is coming to pass. Let me go ahead and play y'all this flashback. Y'all go ahead and check this out. And it's just really disgusting how we're so quick to tear each other down. And what's going to happen is that, you know, this small YouTube community of just regular people, y'all keep tearing each other down. Y'all keep on beefing and doing all this petty shit. And when they start replacing you with, with you know, A-list celebrities and people start subscribing to A-list celebrities and they no longer visit regular smuggler people's YouTube channels anymore, then you guys will understand where y'all fucked up. You know, because that's what's happening. There's going to be a corporate takeover of YouTube. These celebrities are coming to YouTube. They're saying that there's a bag to get. They already have a built-in fan base from television, from the radio, from movies. And they're all swarming YouTube now, okay? YouTube is a new platform that everybody wants to be on. And in a minute, there's not going to be any room for just regular people to come on and make content. You know, to make videos, to, to talk about makeup, to do commentary. Because it's going to be saturated by celebrities. And that's what's happening. Like, why not pay a celebrity $30,000 to do a makeup shout out than some, you know, Joe schmo makeup artist who's been on here for a few years when we know like if we give that same 30 grand to like let's say a Miley Cyrus versus a Manny MUA that's gonna you know that's gonna create more of a buzz going with Miley versus like a regular YouTuber and because of all the drama the toxicity the negativity that's what's gonna happen in the future that's what I foresee so we need to tighten up as a community not just in the beauty community but all around YouTube I don't care if it's the gaming community the commentary community Everyone needs to tighten the fuck up, point blank, period, okay? All right, so you guys just saw this flashback, and I do want to go ahead and shout out Lingerie Magazine. They were the first ones to send me this video of Amanda Stanberg. Who, she's been in a lot of movies from The Hunger Games to The Hate That You Give, okay? So now, basically, what's going on is that her video is going viral all over Instagram and on social media. And so she done went from being a so-called, you know, A-list, maybe B-list actress to being a beauty guru. And she's going to teach you guys how to do a fierce face, even though I'm not impressed by her makeup work. She even, you know, try to be funny and call us clowns. Anyways, y'all go ahead and watch this. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. What's up, y'all? My name is Amanda Stenberg, and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint your face like a jester. Because y'all are some clowns. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to be showing you how to do a New Year's Eve inspired look. So, we're going to start with this primer. <laughs> like so. It's Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Getting us real silky smooth. Feels good as hell. <laughs> so that you're good to go all night. <laughs> I'm gonna use this hydrating longwear foundation. Uh, this is shade 310. It's winter time. Melanin levels be shifting. So I have combination skin, and I love to look like a glazed donut. And yeah, I can get a couple of dry spots here and there, so wearing a foundation that's hydrating is really dope for me. Am I looking zooey? Zooey? All right, so you guys just saw that snippet of her basically doing her makeup tutorial. So like I stated, I'm not feeling this at all. I'm not feeling the celebrity takeover. We've talked about this on my live, you know, and I've been calling this out for a while. But let me start by saying this. Let me start by keeping it real because I know usually people's response is, you're just jealous. You're just a hater. Celebrities, you know, can have YouTube channels too. Of course, it's a free world. You can do whatever you'd like, okay? My issue is this. My issue is not celebrities starting their own YouTube channels. My issue is the sneaky stuff that YouTube is doing to promote and push them through the algorithm, okay? So, let's let's keep it all the way real. All jokes aside, nobody, I, nobody, nobody 
nobody ever i wonder how amanda sandberg did her makeup to the oscars or to the vmas like nobody looks at her as some type of beauty influencer she's she's no kylie jenner she's no beyonce she's no rihanna so it's like it's not even genuine I'd be more happy with her making videos about herself and what she likes and what she's doing in life. I don't look at her from the way she carries herself as a diva or a beauty influencer or a makeup person. She's like, "Is am I dewy yet? Am I dewy? Girl, I don't know. You tell me. Shit. <laughs> you asking all these questions. You the YouTube. You let me know, boo. That's, you know, so that's for one. But like I said, my issue is this. What I've noticed with YouTube is that They've gone ahead and they demonetize so many regular people, demonetize their channels. They've made it even harder to get into the monetization program. He says the YouTube rollout discussion was at a rather bizarre location. It didn't happen. It was a special occasion that happened um, uh, in May. And they, um, they invited us all to the Masonic Temple to talk about the future of the company. And they... Um, they invited us all to the Masonic Temple to talk about the future of the company uh, for YouTube, and they described that they were going to have more content filtering. And right after that happened, um, a lot of the content creators started to get demonetized, um, and their uh, videos started to get deranked. And then on top of that, they've also been shadow banning people unsubscribing people from our channels, also not sending notifications to our subscribers. Meanwhile, people that I'm not subscribed to, celebrities that I don't watch, I don't watch celebrities on YouTube, somehow I'm mysteriously being subscribed to them. Somehow, every time I go to watch somebody that I am subscribed to or just, you know, random videos, I'm being pushed a video from Sky Jackson. Sky Jackson does a natural hair tutorial for 4C hair. Recommended. Why is that being recommended to me? I don't follow Sky Jackson. I'm not subscribed to her. And I don't think she has 4C hair. But that's a whole nother story. My thing is if I want to watch natural hair gurus, I'll watch the ones who have been on here that I have a trust with putting in work. I don't want to watch celebrities get ready to go to the gala. I don't care what their hair routine is. I don't care what their makeup routine is. And I'm going to be biased in this video. You guys can get mad and say it's not fair, but I'm a YouTuber. So I'm going to be biased in this video. To me, YouTube was created for regular people like me and you. It was not created for celebrities. Celebrities look down on YouTubers. Talk shit about the YouTube community. You know, we were the bottom of the barrel, but now they're all running here. Which is funny, but, but they're only running here, of course, for a bag. Not because they sincerely want to be YouTubers. Not because they sincerely want you to know the ins and outs of their life. They're coming for clicks and views and to get a check. Point blank, period. They're no different than regular people on here. Okay, don't be fooled by that glitz and glamour. A lot of them are living a fake lifestyle and they're trying to figure out ways to bring in more income. Hence why they're all running to YouTube, okay? Now, as far as me, for the most part, I'm good. I'm not making these videos because, oh, well, it's me, you know, I'm scared or I'm jealous or I'm threatened. No, boo. I can sit here and talk about plastic flowers and people will watch my content because I have a subscriber base that goes hard for me. They support me. They watch my content. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get views regardless of this situation. So this is not necessarily about TT because TT going to get views regardless, okay? I'm speaking for the voiceless. I'm speaking for the up and coming YouTubers behind me. It's okay YouTubers to be selfless and speak for other people who may not have a voice, okay? One thing that my brother has been telling me and some of my friends who work in the school system, a lot of this generation of kids, they are growing up wanting to be YouTubers, okay? Because they see the Logan Pauls and the Rice Gums and all these hype beasts and the, the makeup people, the Nikki Tutorials and the James Charles. If he can make it, he's just a regular kid. He was just a regular student. I too can make it. A lot of these kids now want to be YouTubers. They want to be social media personalities. The problem is, like I've been trying to tell a lot of these kids, the, the, the gravy train is drying out. If you haven't been here putting in work, if you ain't been grandfathered in, there's really no check for you to get. It's very hard unless you're going viral, unless you're coming up with new concepts, which a lot of people aren't. They're literally just copying the same old formula. Amanda's not doing anything new and interesting or innovative in that video. She has a little glowy, sparkly background like most beauty gurus. She's trying to crack jokes and put on Fenty makeup. There's nothing new about that. She's just reinventing the wheel. So my thing is, 
So what about the young girl who wants to start teaching a new makeup look that maybe hasn't been done yet? You know, or the young boy that wants to teach DIYs, you know, how to create this, how to do coding, how to, you know what I'm saying, make this and that. They're not going to get that opportunity because now you have corporate media creating DIYs instead of it being done by regular people. You have corporate people now podcasting and, and now doing celebrity news and celebrity trending topics instead of regular YouTubers. You now have corporate and celebrities doing beauty influencer work. <laughs> so in a minute, this entire site is going to just be corporate. You're not going to see regular people on here. I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight, but that is the goal. They are trying to make YouTube television because nobody watches TV. Old media is dying and they're jealous. You guys seen my video like two weeks ago when I talked about the real, how they were mad at YouTube bloggers for doing commentary and spinning lies and things like that. So the takeover is real. I've been calling this out now and here's proof of it. This is the new viral video of, of Amanda who nobody looks at as a, as a beauty guru or makeup artist, but now that's what she's pushing on her channel. So, and it's a lot of celebrities. If you think it's just her and, and Kylie, there's so many celebrities now with YouTube channels, it's insane. When I was on the plane, I was watching um, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. And in this latest episode, literally, there's like an animated thing in the corner, and it's saying subscribe to, you know, KKW. I guess that's the Keeping Up With Kardashians brand. You know, subscribe to their YouTube channel. So now they're promoting subscribing to these people's YouTube channels on television to men's of fans. So in a minute... All you're going to see is their fans going and subscribing to the Kardashians, going and subscribing to, you know, mainstream people. And that is what is going to push them through the algorithm. So then what happens is that regular people who don't have the power of Hollywood behind them, they're going to get suppressed in the algorithm. There are so many people that I, you know, that I watch and it's like I literally have to search their name. And even when I search their name, their names aren't even popping up. It's like people are being suppressed. They're being shadow banned. So that is my issue. My issue is not so much the celebrities. They can do what the hell they want to do, honey. We're all grown. But my issue is that YouTube is playing games. They're pushing them through the algorithm. Why am I not seeing regular YouTubers being recommended to me for natural hair? I don't want to see Sky Jackson do a hair tutorial. I'm not interested. The, the little young girl who's trying to teach some stuff, I'll watch her. The, the single mom who's trying to teach you know people how to do a twist out, I'll watch her. You know what I'm saying? So when that Sky Jackson came up, I had not interested. I'm not interested in none of the celebrity stuff. I have people that I watch and I have people that I support. And again, if we sit by complacent and we just say, well, it's no big deal, it's no big deal, realize they're coming to take your job. So all these people who keep collaborating with celebrities and keep eating with celebrities and keep doing makeup with celebrities. I sent a video the other day of Nikki Tutorial doing makeup on Lady Gaga. You know, a few years ago, Lady Gaga wouldn't have looked at a YouTuber twice. But now she's doing makeup on Lady Gaga and that video has 3 million views. And of course, what are they promoting? Please subscribe to Lady Gaga's channel because they all have YouTube channels now. So in a minute, these same folks that you guys are collaborating with are going to be the same ones taking over your position. I'm just saying. Now, a lot of them, they're okay. They've made, you know, Nikki Tutorials is a millionaire. They've made more than enough money. So it really won't really matter for them. But my issue is the people coming up behind them. The people that I get emails from day in, day out. I'm not getting views. What can I do? They still won't monetize me. You know, how can I get in the algorithm? These are the questions we constantly get hounded with as, as YouTubers. And at this point, I don't even know what to tell people. Because they're not even pushing me and regular YouTubers through the algorithm as much. I mean, it's insane. Like, you literally have to either follow me on Patreon, Twitter, Instagram to get a notification because from what I see, half the time the notifications don't work. But if I post the link on Patreon, my Patreons get the notification quick because of Patreon. My Instagram peoples, they get the notification quick because of Instagram. But the YouTubers who are the, the subscribers and the people who support my channel, you know, their, their notifications are hit and miss. How is that okay? But yet and still you're recommending somebody to me that I don't even watch, that I'm not subscribed to, and that I'm not interested in. No shade towards her, I'm just not interested. 
because there's plenty of people that I watch for hair stuff and, you know, makeup and things like that. So I don't know that it's just really frustrating me. But I just really wanted to just have an open and honest dialogue about this because the face of YouTube is changing. This is not about hate. This is not about jealousy. And this is not about celebrities who have been here. So let me also clear that up. I'm not talking about Candy. I'm not talking about Tamara because I think she's been had a show. She's been doing stuff on YouTube. I'm not talking about the celebrities who have been making content for years and just having fun with it. Because, you know, we've all seen them on here throughout the years. I'm talking about the ones who are literally running here to get a quick bag. Amanda Slamberg is literally running to get a quick bag. Nothing about her screen beauty guru. Like, let's keep that all the way 100. And that's what I'm seeing. Miley Cyrus is running up here to get a quick bag. It's like all these celebrities and even their children. Look at, you know, Rebecca from Full House. Her daughter had a whole YouTube channel. A million followers guaranteed for her right there and then. And she wasn't doing shit but sitting in her dorm room. So, again, this YouTube takeover of celebrity and famous people and their children, it's getting crazy. And in a minute, there's not going to be room for just the regular, smuggler people. And I understand some of y'all may not care because you guys have no intentions of making YouTube videos. But there's hundreds and thousands of people who do care, who want to shot on YouTube, who want to make videos, who want to make, you know, have their children make videos and their grandkids make videos and things like that. But, again, no one is going to notice them. YouTube is not going to push them through the algorithm because... Because they are ready to make YouTube corporate and turn YouTube into television. And if you have not been grandfathered in, if you haven't been here, you know what I'm saying, from literally a, a OG, they're not fooling with you. And it's really sad. It really is. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning the celebrity takeover of YouTube. We, we've been talking about this now for months, and now everything is starting to come to pass. Do you agree with me that, you know, YouTube is wrong for pushing them through the algorithm, all the while suppressing regular content creators? And then what do you guys see for the future of YouTube? Do you feel like this is going to be the new television, and it's going to be basically filled with nothing but celebrities, celebrity family vlogs, and all that? stuff so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping don't forget to hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the thumbs up button and i don't know the notification bell may or may not work honey but make sure you click it just in case so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces